You're watching EC News. Thank you for joining us. The leaders of Germany, France and Italy, all criticized in the past by Kyiv for support views as too cautious, made a joint visit on Thursday to show solidarity with Ukraine, where officials pleaded for more Western arms. France Emmanuel Macron, Germany's Olaf Scholz, Italy Mario Draghi and Romania's Klaus Iohannis were shown gutted, burnt-out buildings. Air raid sirens blared in Kiev as the French President Emmanuel Macron, Germany's Olaf Scholz, and Ital Italy's Mario Draghi began with the leaders' tour, a nearby town wrecked early in the war. The leaders were joined with Romanian President Klaus Lahanis, toured Imprin, a town northeast of the capital, devastated soon after the invasion began on February 24th, where withdrawing Russian forces left behind bodies littering the streets. They were showing the wreckage of a car which Ukraine says was targeted by Russian troops when the mother and children were inside. Ukraine, a town northeast of capital Kiev, was devastated early in the war, where withdrawing Russians forced once left behind bodies littering the streets. The visit had taken weeks to organise while the three most powerful EU leaders all fended off criticism over positions described as a deferral to Russian President Vladimir Putin. Still, the move by the three to travel together held strong symbolism at the pivot moment. A day before the EU's Executive Commission is expected to recommend pushing forward the Ukraine's bid to join the bloc, which EU leaders are expected to endorse a summit next week. Schulz, Macron and Draghi all said that they are strong supporters of Ukraine who have taken major practical steps to reduce Europe's dependence on Russia's energy to find weapons to help Kiev. But Ukraine has long criticised Schultz over what regards as Germany's slow delivery of weapons and reluctance to severe economic ties with Moscow and was furious this month at Macron for not saying in an interview that Russia must not be humiliated. Italy has also proposed a peace plan which Ukraine's fear could lead to pressure on them to give up territory. Ukraine is taking hundreds of casualties a day as the war entered its brutal tr a traditional phase of the East. Kiev says it urgently needs more weapons, especially artillery and rockets to counter Russia's firepower advantage. After holding talks with Ukraine President Vladimir Zelensky, the leaders signalled that the Ukraine should be granted European Union candidate status, a symbolic gesture that would draw Kiev closer to the economic bloc.